I'm going to show you how to figure out if your speakers are loud enough for your home theater, PA system, or studio. First, we need to understand the difference between power, intensity, and pressure level. In a typical system, an amplifier will provide an electrical signal to a speaker. A portion of that electrical energy will be converted into acoustic energy by the speaker, while the rest will be converted into heat. The total acoustic energy created by the speaker is referred to as the sound power level. In this theoretical example, the speaker is an omnidirectional point source, which means that sound radiates equally in every direction from a single point in space. The sound waves move further away from the speaker, and it creates an expanding sphere of acoustic energy. As the sphere grows larger, the acoustic energy created by the speaker is spread out over more and more surface area. Naturally, the further the sphere of sound expands, the less energy there will be at any given section along that surface area. In other words, the sound intensity level, or energy per unit of surface area on that sphere, will decrease as the sound expands outward. Understanding the intensity level is helpful, but we're usually most concerned with the sound pressure level at a point in space, because that's how our ears and microphones perceive sound. Some speakers are more efficient than others. If two identical amplifiers provided 100 watts of power to two different speakers, one speaker may still be louder than the other, depending on the sensitivity of each speaker. The sensitivity of a speaker describes the sound pressure level that can be expected at a given power input. You can find the sensitivity of your speakers in the technical specifications online or in the user manual, but for example, this QSC E115 speaker will produce 97 dB SPL at one meter away with one watt of power. By the way, I want to offer you a free copy of my speaker specifications guide that'll help you understand the most important specs to look for when choosing a speaker. You can download that at audiouniversityonline.com slash speaker specs guide. So if one watt of power will provide us with 97 dB SPL at one meter, what sound pressure level can we expect with more power supplied from the amplifier? This question can be solved using this decibel formula. I'll do an example with the QSC E115, but you can just plug in the numbers for your own speakers. I'm going to find the continuous power capacity for this speaker, which is 500 watts. This means the speaker can remain stable with 500 watts of power supplied by an amplifier over an extended period of time. Make sure not to confuse this with the peak power. I'll plug in one watt for the starting power, or power one, then I'll plug in 500 watts for power two. This formula will show the relationship between these two power values in decibels. We can see here that the ratio between 1 watt and 500 watts is about 27 decibels. That means that we'll get 27 dB greater sound pressure level with 500 watts than we did with 1 watt. So we need to add 27 dB to the 97 dB speaker sensitivity spec, which shows us that we can expect 124 dB at 500 watts at one meter away from the speaker. Chances are you won't be listening to the speaker from one meter away. That means that our next step is to figure out how much pressure level will be lost by the time the sound expands outward and reaches the listening position. The inverse distance law states that sound pressure level is inverse to the distance from the sound source. In other words, each time we double the distance between the source and the listener, the sound pressure level decreases by 6 dB. Using that logic, if we expect 124 dB SPL from 500 watts at one meter away from the speaker, how much will we get at a listening distance of two meters? Well, we doubled the distance, so we just need to subtract 6 dB, which equals 118 decibels. This trick can be a very useful tool for quick estimations. Each time you double the distance, subtract 6 dB. However, if you know the listening distance, we can use a slightly different decibel formula and punch in the numbers. We use this formula because we're dealing with distance rather than the previous formula, which is used for comparing power. This time we'll enter one meter from the sensitivity spec as distance one and 10 meters, the listening position as distance two. This calculator indicates that there will be a loss of 20 decibels over this distance, meaning that the 124 dB we calculated at 1 meter will be reduced to 104 dB at 10 meters. 
There are a few more things that you should consider when choosing speakers though. So watch the video that's on your screen now to learn the three questions you should always ask before buying. And don't forget to download the free speaker specs guide with the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.